Well, hello, I'm Peter Horáček and uh, I write and illustrate books for children. Uh, in all of my picture books I have animals. I love drawing animals. But for years I was asking my publisher or we were talking together about possibility of doing a book just about animals. So we were really waiting for the right text and then one day I was asked if I would like to illustrate a first book of animals written by Nicola Davis. And Nicola is a great writer and uh, I really like her work and I was so excited. So I was so excited that I started to sketch the book right on the way home on the train and um, I just couldn't wait to get home and start to work on the book. The book is simply a kind of dream come true because I couldn't wish for better non-fiction uh, to illustrate than a first book of animals. My favorite animal is probably a bear. I like the way how they look and how fast they can move. Even though they look quite clumsy, they're just brilliant hunters. I really like bears. Funny enough, there's no grizzly bear or any other bear. Well, there is a panda and polar bear, but uh, not a grizzly. I like grizzlies. Anyway, we couldn't fit everything into the book, but uh, if I have to choose my favorite animal, it probably would be the bear. And if I have to choose my favorite animal, to illustrate in the book it would be probably a jellyfish I like I like uh, the painting of the jellyfish because it gave me lots of freedom I could paint and uh, also I quite like the ants as well because I love woods so painting in the wood that's what I do every so often so this was a fun picture to do as well well one of the great things about working on a first book of animals is uh, that I learned so much about animals doing researches in fact I could spend hours just looking at the YouTube how the animals are moving or, or uh, looking at the books and the shapes of the animals and of course reading the facts about the animals as well I remember reading about seahorses and that was really interesting because obviously as probably lots of people knows it's the it's the dad who's carrying the babies in the tummy and gives a birth which is fascinating but also I didn't know that uh, seahorses don't have stomach so they have to eat 24 hours a day and still look pretty skinny I thought that's a great thing I would like to experience it maybe for week or so it'll be really good so i really like the seahorses and um, there was i mean nicholas's text texts are brilliant because they are very well written but also full of real facts which i didn't know uh, for example why the zebras are stripy and so on i suppose Zebras. I really like uh, the poem about zebras, and as I, as I probably mentioned, it's the fact that it's very funny. The stripes, the word stripes, is repeating in the text as well, but also it gives us um, lots of informations about why zebras are stripy. So I really like this one. Also, I like the poem with the uh, with uh, flamingos, pink. Well, I really enjoy working with Nicola because she's a great, she's great writer and also she's artist herself. So she would, uh, she would tell me off if, if there was something wrong. And also she promised me that if I don't like some of the poems or the animals, she would be very happy to change it. I don't think about, I can't think about any other writer who will do that. So she gave me all the freedom I really wanted. I'm pleased to say that we didn't change uh, or took out any of the poems. I, I, I was really so excited about it that we did all the pictures in the book which we intended to do. Um, as uh, Nicola, she's, she knows almost everything about animal world. So every time we, we have spoken together, 
I always learn something new. Um, yeah, I, I, I really, I, working together was simply really, really great experience. Since the book was published, we did lots of events together as well, which uh, on the beginning I would explain a little bit about uh, about the way how I illustrated the book. And then Nicola takes over and uh, listening to Nicola talking, even though we did a couple of events together already, I can I can listen to her for forever. She's she's always coming with something new, and I'm painting the animals as she talks. So, so it's really really inspiring, uh, still for me. And uh, we all have great fun. It's it's great to be in 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 Nicholas' company.